Yesterday, when you addressed APAC, the American Israel Public Affairs Committee, uh, you were critical of Donald Trump, the Republican presidential front runner. I spoke with him after your speech. This is what he said to me about you. Look where she got us. I mean, look at Libya. Look at the migration. Look at Benghazi. I mean, here's a woman. It's talk. She's just right. You know, she's just reading it off a teleprompter. She's just all she does. Believe me, they write that for her. He also said you have very, very low energy and you don't have the stamina to be president of the United States. You want to respond to Mr. Trump? No, I really don't. Uh, I don't want to respond to his uh, constant stream of insults. I find it, uh, you know, really uh, at this point absurd. Let me talk about what I will do, what I have done and what kind of commander in chief uh, I will be. Uh, because I think that's what's at stake in this election. We need steady, strong, smart uh, minds and hands uh, in the White House, in the Situation Room, uh, to deal with the problems that uh, we face around the world. On that very first day, January 20th, 2017, a new president will be in the Oval Office, and we can't uh, sit here today and predict all of the challenges and threats that will face that new president, but we know We've got to be both vigilant and effective in fighting terrorism. Uh, I believe I have the track record, the experience, and the temperament uh, to do just that.